Well, as we all are aware that AMR is one of the global concern and sepsis is one of the biggest concern of clinicians world over in treating the patients of AMR. Today we have an expert, Dr. Kushra Bazan Sir, who is a consultant in internal medicine and head of emergency department at PD Hinduja Hospital, Mumbai. I welcome you, sir, Thank for you. today's session. Sir, how do you choose the right antibiotic when you are treating patients of sepsis in the intensive care unit? It's probably the most difficult uh, answer to give. What I do, I can tell you my, my clinical experience. What I do is I try to divide uh, my three questions and then decide the right antibiotic. So I look at the host, I look at the bug and then I look at the drug. So when I talk about the host, I look whether the person is young or elderly, whether he is immunocompromised or not, whether there is neutropenia or uh, there is no neutropenia and so on and so forth. I would also take a very good history in this host and I would try to find out whether he or she was admitted in a nursing care uh, in the last three months or been given any antibiotics, especially quinolones, etc. by some family doctors in the last three months. Because because this puts them to a very high risk for resistant bacteria. Coming to the uh, bug, uh, it depends upon which bug we are dealing with and this goes system wise. So uh, if there is a brain infection or there is a lung infection or there is a UTI or there is a, a complicated device infection or a bloodstream infection. So it depends upon that site and we would make a wise guesses as per our antibiogram and the favorite bugs that are grown in my hospital uh, as per the systems I would take my decision. Here I would also like to caution uh, everyone on one thing that virulence is not equal to resistance. True. There could be bugs which may need three or four antibiotics and they are resistant but they may not kill. As against that you might have something like strep pyogens mm -hmm. which is extremely uh, virulent may cause even a limb being lost within 24 hours because of necrotizing fasciitis but it is uh, very sensitive to uh, anything like penicillin or ceftriaxone. So I have looked at the bug and tried to make a wise call. The third part would be looking at the drug. So I should know my drug well and I always say that a man can perform well when he knows his tool well Absolutely. and therefore we should know a drug, we should know its uh, pharmacokinetics, its pharmacodynamics, volume of distribution, the site where it would reach and also the complications associated with it. Our real fear is always uh, antibiotic which would cause renal failure, hepatic failure and even convulsions and therefore we need to make the right choice depending upon all these three factors, the host, the drug and the bug.